Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine. Expecting you guys are having a good week or weekend or whatever days you guys are having. May God be blessing you guys wherever you guys are at. Guys, I want to ask you guys a favor. I need your input on this. Do you like the show long, 12 to 15 minutes long with about three topics in each video? Or do you want separate videos uh, for one topic? I enjoy me. I'm a YouTube guy. I enjoy videos. I like short videos, but sometimes long videos are good. But let me know down in the comments down below, guys. Let's get right into it right away, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get into it. I, I just heard these news, which I'm as being a. I support the president. Obviously, I'm a conservative. I want the president to do good. That doesn't mean the president is God. That doesn't mean the president is not abstained from any type of criticism from my part. And it should not be like that. It shouldn't be like do or die, which I'm seeing on, 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 on the right. It's like, I mean, I know this is our side, you know, we, but, but we also have to be critical of our side too. That way we be more, more human, I guess. But this is the news that I found. It was brought to my attention because uh, from my wife saying that there is a proposal of the Trump administration to bar legal immigrants, not not illegal immigrants, legal immigrants, if them or in their household have received any type of aid from the government. This I try to find information different places. I didn't find an official communication from the White House. So we are going to have to count on the fake news media for, <laughs> for information. This comes from, uh, who, who is this, NBC? This is, and this is what it is. Now the Trump administration wants to limit citizenship for legal immigrants. We're going to read the, the, it's like four paragraphs. The Trump administration is expected to issue a proposal in in coming weeks that will make it harder for legal immigrants to become citizens or, or get green cards if they have ever used a range of popular public welfare programs including Obamacare for source Obamacare for sources with uh, with knowledge of the plan told them see who might that be that might be Peter Strzok the four sources okay the move which will not need congressional approval is part of a White House senior advisor Stephen Miller's plan to limit the number of immigrants who obtain legal status in the U.S. each year. Okay, they want to limit the, the people who get legal status. How are they going to do this? By this. Details of the rulemaking proposal are still being finalized, but based on a recent draft seen last week and described to, N to NBC News, immigrants leaving legally in the United States who have ever used or whose ever household members have ever used Obamacare, child health, child health insurance, food stamps, and other benefits could be hindered from obtaining legal status in the United States, U.S. Let me give you guys a story about me. There's, there's a video, if you guys want to look for it up in the, in the channel, my channel, about my story of how I came to the United States. Let me tell you this. My parents came, right? They left us in the Dominican Republic, then we came. They petitioned for us legally, five of us. We came, right? My dad, thank God for this, man. A hard, mega working dad, which, which I criticize him today because of his hard work. And I tell him that on his tombstone is going to say, uh, good father, good worker. Because he's, the man is just always working, man. Five people always working, five kids, a wife. He had to because of what he worked, limited by uh, first generation immig immigrant, which was limited by the language. He had to get food stamps and probably Medicaid for all of us. Why? There's five kids. The he probably couldn't get by paying the rent on his own. And he had to do it, right? So you're telling me because of what my dad did was, was to a benefit for the people that live in the United States legally here and needed, which is needed. We're not, we're not, we weren't stealing it just because we want to, which I understand there is a mega, 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 did I say mega, mega abuse of the system. There is a mega abuse of the system. But to limit for see, I will be I will be barred from getting my citizenship if if I if I needed to get it. I will be barred from getting it because of what my dad did in 1990, and it, which was not an, an illegal 
thing. So it doesn't make sense, and it makes and it makes the administration. Sorry, guys, it's hot in here. It makes the administration look uh, racist. But again, this is the fake news media that I'm getting my information. I did not. I have not been able to get nothing from an official so. Uh, Source from the White House, an official uh, press release or anything, documents from the White House saying that this is true. I looked and I looked and I couldn't find. But if this is true, it's not going to be good because I tell you this, a lot of Latinos voted for Donald Trump. And a lot of Latinos uh, are with Donald Trump after he has done what all the things that he has done. There's a lot of people that see through 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 the cloud and the smoke and see that Donald Trump is a guy. I have to wait till something from the White House comes along to see what's the deal with this. Guys, let me know your opinions down below. What do you guys think? Do you think this, this is something that is fair? Or do you think this might look, make the administration look bad? In my opinion, if this is true and you're going to punish me, for example, for what my parents did in 1990... It's making them look bad. Guys, I am Valentine, your host. If you like my effort, give me a like or a dislike. But a like will be better because I need you guys up. I need you guys up. This channel has to grow, guys, and, and it's only with you. This is I only put my effort, but without you, this this is I'm talking to a camera right now in, in, in New York and it's super hot. That's all I'm doing. But with your help. I'll be able to make something out of this. Guys, God bless each and every one of you guys. God, family, country. Me, Valentine. I'm out.